What is up guys, welcome to the third tutorial. Today we're gonna go into input variables. So input variables are the things in After Effects that you use to like edit things. So like checkboxes or angles or like color pickers or point um, pointers. And you can set a point somewhere on your composition. So we're gonna make some of those for our effect so we can like check a checkbox or we can like set a point or we can add an angle. So let's do that right now. So first of all, we're gonna add a checkbox. So for when you add a checkbox, just go to your skeleton CCP and we're gonna add a checkbox. So when you add an effect, you also always first need to add this one, this line over here, and then you can add like any effect you want. So we're gonna add a checkbox and that goes like this, add and then checkbox. It's right over there already. Great. Then we're gonna set up a pointer to the, what we're gonna call it string ID um, checkbox like parent. Uh, we're just gonna set name. Then we're gonna do this is the description. So also it's SDR ID checkbox and we're gonna do the ESC then you have the default so if it's default or true or false so we're gonna do false actually and then you need to put the flags in we're gonna do zero and then we're gonna add ID so we're gonna do checkbox and ID so that's that and I'm gonna just format it a little bit so it's, so it's beautiful you know so when other people read it and they, they don't get lost in my code you know it's good to do that so now that we have this, we're going to add these IDs, these strings, and we're going to add the ID. So everything's all right. So first we're going to add the string. We called it str ID checkbox. First we have the name, which was, which we're going to do um, cool. Yeah, we're going to do cool checkbox. And then we have the description. Checkbox D-E-S-C. And then we're going to do the description check for cool pins. We know it, check for cool pins. Then we have that. We're going to go to the skeleton dash strings. I'm going to add it over here. ST. You know what? I'm going to just copy and paste it because otherwise we'll be here for ages. Let's do it like this. DSC. Now that we have those, please work. Yes. Now we're gonna add it over here so the ID is recognized. Just put your plugin name here, skeleton, and then check box. And we're gonna put it over here to um, check box dash disk dash ID because we can put a comma here and then go right over here I'm gonna put this uh, disk here too just so it's the same everywhere close it and look it works but it formats it again oh no I don't want this let me just do it like this now it's beautiful again now we're gonna run the debugger and if it's if everything was all right we're gonna have a checkbox which would be great and i hope it is all right so let after effects start so it's really late like late right now i'm just making this video so if i'm like talking weird stuff it's because it's really really late entitled project let's add our effect on this one skeleton look we got a checkbox check for cool tints it does nothing but it is a checkbox so now that we have a checkbox we're gonna add an angle that's like where you can add like angles <laughs> you can change the angle and we're gonna add a point because those are the ones you use most often i guess in effects so i'm just gonna add those both in right right now I'm just gonna copy paste some stuff so you know what it's what it's all about 
so you know how to do it if you need it in the future you know so that's the angle now we're gonna add a point you also have 3d points then you do it like this uh, you also need to check then if if you have the sufficient version of After Effects because not all After Effects versions support 3D and you add another default point variable val for the third dimension, right? But for now we're gonna just do a 2D point. So we set everything up right here. Now we need to add the strings again, so let's go to the strings. I'm also gonna copy these because we can it's fast fast as lightning so that's true now we're gonna go right over here bam we're going fast now i can go to sleep in a sec it's it's gonna be great okay now add the id so you can um so it gets recognized. Um, thing. And skeleton. What was it again? Points. And then right over here, we're gonna do um, angle dash disk dash id and point dash disk dash id. Now that's that's all done. We're gonna take a look right here if it's if it shows any errors. It does show errors. Oh no, this one is good. What did this one says? Default points, ah, yeah, that's true. We also need to add a default variable right here. So let's do that, hashtag define. And then we're gonna do skeleton and points val. And we're gonna put it on 50. So now that's that the skeleton. Look, now it works. It's great. Now it should work. Yep. Save. Let's try this. Let's try this stuff. So now we should have an angle so we can adjust the angle with like so it's such a round thing that you can just like troll and we can change a point. It doesn't do anything, but it's there. And we, we can in the future use that to like get input from the user. So entitled project again. Lay that effect on there. Skeleton. Oh no. We got an error boys. What did we do? Uh, angle point, wait. I know what's going on. We should do it like this. Numperm should be like the last one. Let's cross our fingers. Effect. Skeleton, please. Yeah, it works. Look, it's great. You can adjust the angle with the lateral thing. And we have a point. We can a point right over there we can drag it or we can edit it like this so that's it for this tutorial see you in the next tutorial we're going to discuss something else about effects or plugin development however you want to call it so see you in the next one bye